planet has been around for six years, and through the past six years, we've received a total of 29 seasons. Many are regarded as the best seasons of all time, such as Chapter 2 Season 2, Chapter 2 Season 4, and Chapter 1 Season 5. But unfortunately, not every Fortnite season has received the same amount of love. So today, we're going over the most hated Fortnite seasons according to the Fortnite community. First up, we have a recent season with Chapter 4 Season 3. Now, the biggest complaint with this season that you'll find among the player base was the brand new jungle biome. It was nearly impossible to see anyone on the ground throughout the biome, and unfortunately the biome was unavoidable in any match given the size of the biome. The season also fell in the summertime, which of course meant a summer event, but all we got was some sprays on the rock and some summer floaties in the water. If that doesn't scream a summer event, what does? But in all seriousness, this season just fell flat for a lot of players, including myself. Now we got the flapjack assault rifle that was just an okay weapon, and later in the season we actually got the repeater rifle, which would have made the season far more enjoyable if it didn't drop in the back part of the season. Also, the battle pass was very solid, but I could have done without Optimus Prime, as I'm not a massive Transformers fan, but I know the skin was a big deal for many people. Overall, the community gave this a 41% approval rating, and my personal ranking for the season would be a 6.5 out of 10. Next up, we have Chapter 3, Season 4. Now, this season was a massive toss-up for the player base. Now, most of the complaints from this season come from the map and the Fort Nightmares event. Now, if you missed out on the season, the gimmick of the season was that Harold was corrupting the island with Chrome. So, throughout the season, the map started to be covered in Chrome, resulting in some interesting looking POIs and an interesting looking map. Some people also weren't fans of the loophole at the season with the brand new evolved weapons such as the chrome burst assault rifle and the chrome shotgun. Not to mention the season was the host of the fractured event which is highly regarded as the worst Fortnite live event of all time. Now personally I think that this was a pretty solid season with a decent battle pass and a fun loot pool, especially with the goo gun. But it's undeniable that the downfall of the season was the lackluster Fort Nightmares event and the fractured event. Now the player base rated this season at a 51% but I would personally rank it at 8 out of 10. Next let's shift our focus to chapter 3 season 3. Now just to get my personal opinion out of the way, this is my least favorite season that I've ever played inside of Fortnite, and it seems like a lot of people agree with me that it wasn't a good season, as the season has a 54% rating on Fortnite GG. Now the one redeeming factor that most of us can agree on with this season was that we got Darth Vader inside of the game. It was also nice to get a brand new biome on the map for chapter 3, but unfortunately the updates for the season were very lackluster, and the season just felt too bland for a lot of people. The battle pass was also a hot topic for the community, as most agree that Eevee was a good tier 1 skin, and that Darth Vader was a solid tier 100 skin. But everything in the middle of those two skins within the battle pass just seemed off. The community especially agreed on this with the Stormfarer skin. Then throw Indiana Jones in for the secret skin, and the battle pass just felt like they threw it all together in a kitchen sink without any real theme. Not to mention the summer event was super dry compared to previous years, and the loophole for Chapter 3 Season 3 wasn't that fun. But you could argue that the loophole wasn't just a Season 3 problem, as most of Chapter 3 had an iffy loophole. As mentioned earlier, the community gave the season a 54% but I would personally rate it a 3.5 out of 10, which admittedly may be a little harsh, but I really did not like this season. Next up, we have Chapter 2 Season 1, which I personally didn't play. This season holds a 50% approval rating on Fortnite GG, so it's the definition of split down the middle. While this season did bring players a new map for the first time in Fortnite and introduced swimming and fishing to the game, that doesn't mean the season was well received by many people. Now, in my personal opinion, the Battle Pass also fell short this season, with the only skin that I really wish I would have been able to get being 8-Ball. Not to mention, this also had the same fault of Chapter 3 Season 3 with being a painfully long season for the player base. As the season launched on October 15th, 2019, and it didn't end until February 20th, 2020. And finally, we have Chapter 2 Season 6 with a 35% approval rating on Fortnite GG. Now, the first flaw that many people point to with this season is weapon upgrading, which was very tedious and annoying to the player base. The season also added Raptors, which added to the annoyance of the player base and didn't really provide anything gameplay-wise. Now, I will admit, this is the first season that I didn't play all the way through since I picked up the game back in Chapter 2. Overall, the season had a very interesting concept at hand and it had some potential, but it ultimately fell short with being the lowest rated season by the player base, sitting at a 35% of Fortnite GG, but at least it had a good battle pass. So sound off down in the comments below and let me know what your least favorite season in Fortnite is and what you think of my personal list. But until next time everyone, as always, take care and stay twisty.